Hello, and welcome to the Open Virtual Film Project. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the fake Godray blueprint object found in the sample objects of the OVFP plugin. This blueprint allows you to create streaming beams of light that are highly arc directable and do not rely on volumetric fog. To start with, to access the blueprint, pop open the OVFP plugin menu and click the purple wrench, which gets you to the general resources folder. Inside of there, there's a sample objects, fake godray folder. You want to drag this fake godray blueprint out into your scene. With the fake godray blueprint in your scene, you can rotate it around and get it in a position where you can start seeing the beam of light. You'll see it's following my camera. For positioning the beam, you have two options. One, you can manually shift the beam around. And your second option is if you have a light in your scene, if you come into the load from light section, there's a drop-down where you can select your light and load your angle and position from the selected light. So that's my light outside. I'm going to choose Spotlight 1. And there's my beam here. Going through the different options on the light that we have available, I'm going to kick this outside. Inside of the beam shape options, we have the width of the beam, length, how wide it is at the initial point, whether or not it has any angle to it, some fall-off settings for the edge of the beam, as well as the start and the end of the beam, as well as some settings for what to do when the beam hits an object. So this object fade distance fades further away from objects, all the way down to a hard edge against the surface of the object. The last of the beam shape objects is the look at fade option, which affects what happens when I am looking down the length of the beam. You'll see it's fading away as I look down the beam. I can affect this fade by modifying the look at fade distance as well as the direction. The next section to look at is the beam color section, where you have the same setup of OVFP material settings, where you can tint your beam and various other settings. The beam opacity section will give you the option to add two opacity textures, along with all the settings that you need to modify them. And inside the beam movement section, there are settings for moving around each of the two opacity textures to get a streaming light effect. And with some settings, you can create very nice spotlight effects. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.